we should be under no illusion. The viability of the Palestinian Authority will be increasingly at stake if its standing is based on political quicksand. Ultimately, there is no future for the Palestinian Authority without a two-state solution. Reconciliation and negotiations remain essential for achieving the two-state solution. The peace process and reconciliation is not an either-or proposition and must be made compatible by advancing both in a mutually reinforcing way. But for real progress to be made, the time has come for Hamas to make clear where it stands on the central issues at stake. Seven of the Council's provisional rules of procedure. If Israel is serious about a two-state solution, it must recognize the negative impact of continued settlement construction. Palestinian seriousness could be demonstrated by pausing further action in the international arena while talks begin. I invite the representatives of Bangladesh to shakilu al hamla al istitaniya al israeliya ghayr al qanuniya aydan al aqaba al raisiya amam tahqiq al salam al qaim ala ru'yat al dawlatayn ta'ishani jamban ila jamb fi salam wa amn ala asasi hudud ma qabla am 1967. Inna waqf al bina al istitani ليس شرطا مسبقا لكنه التزام قانوني سوانا برازيل كندا the Palestinians have not lifted a finger to restart negotiations we have not seen a single gesture not a single statement not a single indication that they want to return to negotiations just 10 days after president Abbas spoke to the entire world about his commitment to a two state solution his political party, the Fatah, released a new logo that completely erased the state of Israel from the map. Cuba, the Democratic People's Republic of Cuba. Thus, the United States remains fully committed to direct negotiations, and we will continue to work vigorously toward that end. We are consulting with the parties and international partners on the way forward and we are underscoring that every step taken must aim to reduce tensions and create a climate for peace. Djibouti, Egypt. We are continuing our efforts to support the Syrian opposition coalition as it works toward a more unified opposition that is able to start addressing the needs of the Syrian people now. We're supporting the coalition's assistance coordination unit so that increased assistance gets to local councils providing basic services. In addition to over $210 million in humanitarian assistance, the United States has contributed over $50 million to bolster Syrian civil society, including its emerging leaders, to help them communicate, organize, and prepare for an eventual political transition. Iceland, Iraq, India, Indonesia. The history and politics of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict show that serious external leadership is also required to reinvigorate a return to negotiations. We look in particular to the United States to show that leadership and to drive the peace process forward. The United Kingdom, with our European partners, stand ready to offer significant political and practical support. The Islamic Republic of Iran. We must be realistic. No opposition movement that wants to play a role in Syria's future is going to be prepared to work with Assad. You can make a strong moral argument for Assad's departure, but there is an equally strong practical reality. Any transition that involves him is simply not sustainable. There needs to be a clear break from the leader who has unleashed this carnage on his own people. We want this council to play the role that it was established to fulfill. Its failure to do so so far is a stain on its reputation. 